This is video number 20 in the book two series, Essential Elements book two, and this is for cello players only. Now, in this video, we are going to review our C sharps, our extended first position. We're also going to add a new note, G sharp, also using extended first position. So first, I want you to make sure you're really well tuned and you have your tuner out on your stand or somewhere where you can see it, okay? And make sure you've tuned your instrument really well to 440. And let's just review some C sharps. So, you know, your hand's gonna hurt a little, just be ready for that, okay? It's gonna get stronger. Every time it's hurting, it's getting stronger. So remember, extended first position, first finger on the G string, first finger's on the first tape, A, second finger's playing B. Okay, and the mistake people make is they do this and then try to stretch the four, that's not correct. Second finger plays B, and then fourth finger here. Big stretch between one and two. Play four C sharps on the G string, echo B. Extended four. Now two C sharps, two Bs. B with extended two. C sharp extended four. B extended two. C sharp. C sharp. B. B. Now C sharp and then stretch back for the A. Make sure that one gets way back there. C sharp and A. C sharp. C sharp. A. A. Now do A B. C sharp, C sharp. One, extended two, extended four. A, B, C sharp. Play that. A, B, C sharp, C sharp. Now do two A's and two C sharps. Remember, when you go from A to C sharp, aim the two but play the four. Okay? I'm aiming my two. When I do my stretch, I'm aiming my two. See how that works? That's how I'm going to get that four in the right place. Don't aim the four, you'll never make it. Aim the two, and the rest of it will just probably fall into place, okay? A to C sharp, echo B. Aim the two, play the four. A, A, aim the two, play the four, C sharp, okay? Now, look at your book on page 13. Now we're gonna do G sharp. This is actually gonna be easier than C sharp. It's the same thing but it's on a skinnier string, so it's not gonna be as hard to play. Play four G sharps on the D string. How do we do that? Well, you're in extended first position. D, E, F sharp is gonna be played with second finger. Third finger is gonna go there, not playing a note. G sharp. E, F sharp, G sharp. Remember, whenever you go to that, you wanna aim that second finger there, okay? Play four G sharps on the D string. Extended fourth finger, on the D string, echo me. G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp. Now do two G sharps and two F sharps. F sharp is with second finger, not third anymore. G sharp and F sharp. G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Now G sharp and then E. G sharp, now E, E. Now do two E's, two F sharps. Extended two. E, E, stretch the two, F sharp, F sharp. Now E, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp. One, extended two, extended four. E, F sharp, G sharp. E, F sharp, two, G sharp, G sharp. To E to G sharp. So remember when you go from E to G sharp, what are you gonna do? You're gonna aim the, the second finger for that second tape. Aim the second finger there, but put two, three, and four down. E and then G sharp. So E, E, G sharp, G sharp. Now let's play 52. I don't think we need to shadow bow, let's just play it. Okay, shadow uh, play 52. G sharp down. Again, they're not using key signatures. They're about to, but they're not using key signatures right now. One, two, fifty-two, with me go. G sharp. G sharp. Now F sharp with second finger. Now E. Okay, if you think you need to redo that, pause the video and do so. If not, go on and head on to 53. Now this one, I am going to have a shadow bow first. 53, shadow bow. One, two, shadow bow. Ease. Now F sharp with second finger. G sharp. Keep that one back there. Now make a tunnel. Now 
and play it with me. 53, 1, 2, 53, and go. F sharp, second finger. Press it hard with that fourth finger. Now make a time, we'll just go to A. Right back to G sharp. F sharp with second finger. Okay, now go on to 54. Now this one, E straight to G sharp. Remember, aim the two, but play the four. E, aim the two for the second finger for the second tape, and then you'll get there. Shadow bow 54, one, two, 54, shadow bow. Stretch, aim that two. video, but we need to talk about our key signatures now. Now, how are we going to know when to play the when to play these extended positions? Because what if it doesn't tell you X2, X4? What tells us to do a C sharp? The key signature does. What tells us to do an F sharp? The key signature does. And a G sharp. We're going to have to learn a new key for that. So, Let's look, let's kind of review our keys. Well, here's one of your keys. Remember, that's the one that looks like I forgot to put it down, but I didn't. This is C major. So in this one, everything's natural. So clearly you're not going to be playing extensions on this one. Okay, you're not going to play a C sharp on the G string or a G sharp on the D string. There are no sharps. This is C major. What about now with this key signature? Now one sharp, that means all the Fs are sharp. In a future video we're going to learn about this, but guess what? If you see one sharp, you actually would do an extension, but only on the C string. That's in a couple videos from now, okay? All Fs are sharp. Now if we have this, all Fs are sharp and all Cs are sharp. So that means, this is the key center, the first key center you learn, this is D major. Two sharps is D major. You've been playing in D major forever and you have not had to do extensions. That's because the book and the music that I gave you purposely, if it was in D major, it avoided you playing on the G string. And if you did play on the G string, you didn't have to do a C sharp. Okay, you might have had to play a B or an A or an open G, but you didn't have to do it. You can go back and look at everything you've played this year. And if it was something I gave you or it's in the book, you didn't, you didn't have to do an extension, even if you were in D major, okay? Because you didn't know how yet, but now you do. So from now on, anytime you see two sharps, you've got to think, okay, I've got to play extensions on the G string because all of my C's must be sharp, and that's what that one stands for. Now, here's our new key signature. You can look in your book again now. The new key signature, three sharps. The first one's F, the second one's C, and of course, the third one is a sharp we just learned, G sharp. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. The name of this key is A major. So now you know four key signatures. No sharps, C major, everything's natural. One sharp, F sharp, that's G major. Two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, that's a D major. So in D major, you gotta play extension on the G string, but not on the D string. Because not's not until you have three sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Your new key signature, A major. If you see three sharps, you must do extensions on the G string because of the C sharps, and on the C, the, the, the D, sorry, the G string because of the C sharps, the D string for the G sharps. And those of you that can think of this right now, if it confuses you, ignore me, but also on the C string because of the F sharps. But we'll get to that in a future video. What I want us to do right now is look at 56. In 56, our first song in A major, we're going on the A major scale in the next video, but 56 we're going to try right now. So, all Fs are sharp, all Cs are sharp, all Gs are sharp. So, lots of extensions. Shadow bow, 56, and one, two, shadow bow, go. And it's 
extended to because the book is saying, hey, you know what? Now we're using key signatures. The key signature tells you. That's what tells us we have to do extended. Nothing else is really going to help us out. Sometimes the book will be nice and do it. Sometimes you got to use your own brain, okay? So the key signature says all Fs are sharp, all Cs are sharp, all Gs are sharp. So we must do this, okay? Try playing it with me now. And one, two, red say, and go. Extended two. songs so give yourself a break on it give yourself literally a break here and a break here okay make sure that you're practicing this just the echoing stuff like make up just intervals practice going from a to c sharp e to g sharp um, e to f sharp using extended second practice what i do at the beginning with a tuner that's the best way to be good at this don't forget if you're sounding fuzzy most likely it's not enough weight here it could also not be enough weight here so practice it till you get a clear tone and in tune 